if you're watching this video and you think it looks exceptionally grainy and bad, it's because it does. Hey guys, good evening. It is Sunday, about 8.30. Um, yeah, I was kind of awake and I had an idea of something that I want to share with you all. Um, I want to talk about noise reduction in video. So uh, hang with me. Ooh, that just got bright. Um, hang with me and we'll talk a little bit about how we can handle noise and the different things you can do to control the noise in video because I have a camera that's a pretty decent camera in daylight, but it's not great in the darkness. So I wanted to kind of show you some different tricks you can use to get rid of the video noise. And when I'm talking about video noise, if you look real close or if you expand my video on your screen, uh, let's see if I can do it right up in here in the corners of the dark areas, you're probably going to see a lot of graininess going on. Um, my monitor just kicked on, so it gave me some more natural light, which is the next step to getting rid of video noise. There's also a software you can get by uh, Neat Video, and it's one of my favorite softwares, plugins for Final Cut. You can use it for uh, Adobe, you can use it in After Effects, you can use it in Sony Vegas. So it's not um, an, you know, an operating system or software specific plugin. It really works across all the different uh, editors out there, so it's a good one for you. Um, anyway, when you get a video camera that's not that great in terms of the sensor size, Whenever you have darkness, you're going to increase the noise in your video, which is going to just be the, the granular little little grainy fuzzy things that are dancing around in the background. Um, you can control that a little bit with lighting. And let me kick on my camera light here. All right. The more light requires less ISO from your camera, and the less ISO you have, the less noise you have in your video, for the most part. So I wanted to show you this video. I wanted to show you how poor it can look and we'll drop it down into the editor and I'll talk you through some of the different ways you can get rid of noise if you didn't have perfect lighting. So again, light is better. So if you kick on the light, you're gonna do better in general uh, with all your video. But if you don't have the light, you can use something called Neat Video. And there's a version four out that I just picked up and I wanted to go through some of that with you. So let's take a peek. Guys, Now you're with me on my desktop and I'm gonna give you a full screencast of my whole editor let me get comfortable here. And we'll start going through some of this stuff. Um, as you can see, let's go ahead and jump this up to full screen and let's pause it. You can see incredible amount of noise in here. And not only is it noise and graininess, but you can see the chrominance and luminance, uh, which is the color and the light. And you can see the purples and the reds and everything. So it's an incredible amount of noise. And the video looks really, really bad, actually. Um, so we can't fix that 100%. And you can't put in data that's not there. So like if there's some softness or some things that have occurred because you don't have light, you're not going to get all of it back. It's not a perfect scenario. But let's compare that same thing to something that's a little more well lit jump that back out again and pause now you still have the the noise back here it's not as bad it's still pretty bad but my face looks less noisy because that's where the lights hitting so in order to really get this camera to where it's not having any noise in the video you'd have to really light this room or go outside so this is not a good indoor or nighttime camera but I'm using this for the example of neat video to show you the power of this program and how good it really is. Let's just go down here and select a range from here to here. Let's just let's just go really short, okay? Because I want to do some samples and show you the time it takes to process this stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and I think we're gonna edit, copy, edit, paste. Oh, edit undo paste let's put the cursor way down here okay edit paste down at the end of the timeline so you can see down here we've got that file and I'm gonna I'm gonna edit and paste one more time all right so we have two that are exactly let's zoom in on this timeline so you've got this two video clips that are exactly the same right 
So Neat Video is a plugin. So what you do is you go to the Neat Video site. So you type www.neatvideo.com. And on this site, they have the different, you know, things that you can buy. And they have things for after, they have a plugin for After Effects, Premiere, Final Cut, Vegas, you name it, they've got it. And there's two levels. There's one that's a $49 one. There's one option that is $49, and there's one option that is $99. The $49 allows you to reduce noise and video clips up to 1080p. The $99 one is unlimited, and it's multi-platform, and it can do you know any resolution of video. It is well worth the money. I can't tell you how many times I've done a wedding for somebody or I've done some type of video for someone and it's really grainy and I'm like, oh God, what do I do? And you can actually save some really bad video with this, with this plugin. So let's jump over here and just get right in. So um, you go over here, once you've installed the plugin, you just double click the DMG file, at least in a Mac. You double click the file, it loads in and it's in your installed effects. So I just type the keyword noise. And it comes right up. You can see I have the old reduced noise and I have the new reduced noise 4. The version 4 is the one I have. And we could do a test to see which one's faster. I don't really care which one's faster, to be honest. They're both really slow. So when you put this on there, you can see these little pearls up here above your clip. It shows that it's uh, grinding or processing. But if you highlight that clip and set your cursor over top of it, um, you can go over here to select open. I like picking a, a section of video that is representative of what I feel would be about as bad as the noise would be. So let's say right there. That's pretty bad. So let's go over here and for some reason you have to hit select open twice. It's just the way the program works. You hit select open and do it again. And it brings up the window for neat video. And it shows you three little panes down here which I don't really know what they are. I'm going to have to dig into this, but it's uh, the three different uh, color channels, it looks like. Uh, but anyway, all I do is I hit Auto Profile. And it sits there and it looks for a portion that it thinks is representative. And it's also looking for a portion, you know, this is the trick to this program. you got to find a portion of some surface that is pretty much um, homogenous, the same uh, you don't want something that is a, a gradient shadow. You don't want it on somebody's eyeball because it will mistake things that matter as noise and try to cut those out of the soft or cut those out of the picture as well. So you want to make sure you highlight something like this, this wall. That's a perfect section because it's the same color, it's the same gradient, everything's the same. And then you can basically just hit apply, and you'll see immediately in about two or three seconds, that video will just clean up like magic. It, it's freaking amazing. I, I don't even know how the shit works, <laughs> to be honest. It's crazy. Um, and you can see up top it's rendering. It takes a few seconds for that to render through. It's not quick. And keep in mind, this is like a few seconds of a file. It's not much. So a 30-minute video will take four or five hours to render through. But if it means cleaning up your video, it's worth it. Now, you might look at this picture, this image. Let's go ahead and get it out there. Um, it is better, right? Um, it's not perfect, but it's a little bit soft looking. And one thing I've learned is this sharpening inside of Neat Video is better than the sharpening outside of Neat Video. It's, it seems to be less destructive. So you can go over to the noise filter settings and you can go to general, no, I'm sorry, spatial, and you can enable the sharpening. And it will actually sharpen just a little bit. And you can adjust also the levels of, you know, luminance and chrominance and the different noise levels. Um, I usually leave it on auto. It tends to work the best that way. Um, hit apply. And typically you get a, a very good image. Yeah, there you go. And it's not going to be perfect, but if you compare it to this, compared to this, I mean, it's like night and day. I mean, completely night and day. And it takes a little bit of time for it to go through and process, but it's worth the wait. 
Um, it's 99 bucks unlimited version. That's the one I would recommend. That way you could do 4K video, which obviously is going to take longer to do as well. Um, or you could do 1080p. But this is something you should really invest in if you've got GoPros, um, action cams, camcorders, things that are not good in low light. You can actually salvage your video quite a bit. So let's just let it play through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap these clips. And I'm going to play through the pour first. And you can see the difference immediately. Let's do that one more time. The poor one, the good one. It's pretty amazing. I mean, the fact that it can clean up that much. Now, if you, now you're talking about videos that I'm putting on YouTube. So the viewership and the devices that it's being viewed on is not as critical as say somebody putting it on a big screen or a projector. So you have to take it with a grain of salt. But you know, the nice thing is even videos that have very little noise, but still have some noise, you can get rid of almost all of it with this type of program. This is the most extreme scenario, I would say. This is as bad as it's gonna get, um, but you can actually go into clips that are very clean to begin with and make them look just, just oh my gosh, it's incredible. So it's definitely a product that you need to look into, and if you're doing a lot of videos and you're using a lot of different cameras, you're gonna run into this situation sometime, and it's always nice to be able to control it and take care of it. So check it out. Thanks for watching. And um, I'll have a fishing video coming up soon. It's been a weird week. I haven't been able to fish much. It's November. It's cold here in Virginia lately. Um, the fish are still biting. I just haven't been able to get on the water very much lately. Um, I'm going to be showing a video that I've been saving for a little while, only because I didn't have great footage. But I finally, ha I think I figured out a way to format it to where it will be something that you guys could enjoy. I took a trip to Tifton, Georgia about nine months ago, and we went down and did some pond fishing, and it was a hoot, man. It was really fun. So I'm going to share that with you guys this week, so you will get a fishing video, and I just want to say thanks for watching, and please subscribe, and thumbs up. Thanks. Is in my mind.